Dialogue 26 of the Dialogues of the Gods by Lucien. Translated by Howard Williams. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Dialogue 26. Apollo asks Hermes to point out to him of the twin Dioscuri, which is Castor and which Polyduke is and takes the opportunity of criticizing their divine pretensions. Apollo, read by Aaron White Hermes, read by Owen Cook Can you tell me, Hermes, which of these is Castor, or which is Polyduke's? For I could not distinguish between them. That is Castor, who was with us yesterday, and this is Polyduke's. How do you make your distinction, for they are as like as two peas? Thus, because this one Apollo has upon his face the traces of the wounds which he received from his antagonists when boxing, and especially the wounds which were inflicted on him by the Bibrician Amicus, when on the voyage with Jason, while the other shows nothing of the kind, but is untouched and unwounded in his face. Ah! You have conferred an obligation upon me by indicating the distinguishing marks, since in regard to other parts all are exactly alike. The half-segment of an egg and star above on their heads, a javelin in the hand, and each mounted on a white horse, so that I frequently addressed Polyduches as Castor, and the latter by the name of Polyduches. But tell me this, too. Why in the world do they not both live with us? but by halves either of them at one moment is a dead man, and at another a divinity. Well, they act so out of brotherly affection, for since one of the sons of Leda must have died, and the other have been immortal alone, they of their own accord divided for themselves immortality between them in this way. A not altogether wise decision, Hermes, since by this arrangement they will not even see each other what I suppose they especially desired. For how can they when one is with the gods and the other with the dead? But, however, just as I deal in prophecy and as Asclepius deals in medicine, and you, excellent trainer that you are, give instruction in the art of wrestling, and as Artemis acts the midwife, and each one of the rest of us exercises some profession useful either to the gods or to men, what then will these good people do for us? Will they, such strapping youths as they are, enjoy the banquet without working? By no means, but they have assigned to them to act as deputies for Poseidon, and they must ride over the sea, and, if they anywhere perceive sailors overtaken by a storm, perch themselves on the ship and protect the voyagers. A good and salutary profession, Hermes. End of Dialogue 26 End of the Dialogue of the Gods by Lucien Translated by Howard Williams